Bethany Platt is convinced that evil Nathan Curtis is responsible for Lauren Bolton's murder in Coronation Street. Bethany Platt, played by Lucy Fallon in Coronation Street, contemplates leaving Weatherfield in the upcoming week. She believes that her ex-boyfriend, the villainous Nathan Curtis, is responsible for Lauren Bolton's murder. Sarah Barlow, Bethany's mother, takes drastic measures to rid her daughter of her sex offender ex once and for all. However, when she's caught red-handed, will Sarah face repercussions or will the police uncover their own evidence implicating Nathan? In future episodes, Sarah and Bethany report Nathan to the police for violating his license terms when he drives past her in his van, causing her distress. As Bethany considers leaving Weatherfield again, Sarah confronts Nathan at a construction site, reminding him that he took £10,000 to leave town. When Nathan dismisses her, Sarah devises a plan and returns with a plastic bag containing Lauren's hair bobble, found among her belongings left at the Platts. Sarah is caught in the act by Kit Green, forcing her to confess that she intended to plant the hair bobble in Nathan's van as proof of his involvement in Lauren's murder. Kit advises her to let the police handle the situation. After searching Nathan's van and finding some USB sticks, Kit arrests Nathan on suspicion of breaching his sexual harm prevention order. When Sarah inquires about what they discovered in Nathan's van and Kit reveals it's one of Lauren's hairs, suggesting she must have dropped it, he assures her he'll keep her name out of it. Sarah opens up to Bethany and Daniel Osborne about her scheme to trap Nathan, leading to his arrest. The plot thickens when D.S. Swain informs them that the girl who previously gave Nathan an alibi for the night Lauren vanished has now retracted her statement, leaving Nathan visibly shaken. Under interrogation by D.S. Swain, Nathan is pressed about his interest in young girls and the possibility that he murdered Lauren, but he remains tight-lipped. Daniel reassures Bethany that he wouldn't betray Sarah, hoping fervently that Nathan is indeed the culprit, otherwise, the true killer might escape justice. Nathan, maintaining his innocence to his solicitor Joel Deering, suspects that Sarah planted evidence against him. In a desperate attempt to strengthen the case against Nathan, Daniel and Bethany reach out to Nikki Whitley, pleading with her to connect them with Ellie, who they believe holds crucial information. Ellie recounts to Bethany her experience with a client who lavished her with gifts and acted like a boyfriend before turning violent and threatening her life. Faced with a photo of Nathan, will Ellie identify him as her aggressor? Cory spoilers have tantalized fans with the promise that Discover Who Really Killed Lauren will be revealed next week.